For those of you guys who don't know, I got to play El Haitham in a Genshin Impact live action short film. It is official. It's to promote the new Sumeru characters. Peter, my brother, plays Sino. I play El Haitham. My friend Hannah Wu plays Dea. One of my other friends, Mari Takashi, you guys know her, plays Candice. Director is Ismahawk. We got Jeremy Lee being the director of photography. Rihanna Mays, Nick Shaw was the producer. I was uh, Al Haitham and supervised the action when we were on set. We shot this in two days. All right, so without further ado, let's watch. Don't mind the wig. It's not bad. It just looks bad on me. I, I look bad with wigs. Oh, I love the shot. Mm. Yes. Missed. Don't try to grab that. Sword. Dendro sword. That was improvisation uh, that they ended up liking and, and added the effects to it. We were just like, keep swing. I'm gonna keep swinging, Peter. Keep dodging. <laughs> Dendro Daddy. Peter's titties. Them. Or Sino titties. Sino. That doesn't belong to you. So serious. I thought knowledge belongs to all those who pursue it. Return the divine knowledge capsule. You must be new here. Oops. Dea's face completely covered. Our village is a peaceful place. Sorry, Hannah. I recommend you take your fight elsewhere. I don't want to. Capsule. Look this. at our abs, dude. And Peter's abs. Jeez. This is what all the. <laughs> I love this spin. <laughs> Come on, girl. Let's go. Turn. Yeah. Oh, look at Peter. Uh, Manny looks good. That looks so tight. Danny just crushed it with the VFX on this. It's Mahawk and their team, man. It's just the way they do. Oh, God. They had no time to do this, by the way. I'll explain more. If you're going to download Genshin, if you haven't yet, do it from the YouTube channel, like comments and stuff, because it tracks it. Like where they're getting downloads from. So if you can go do that, it'd be awesome. Serene game. Uh, Candice. Candice. You know better than to fight this close to the village. God, such a beautiful shot. Where is it? There's a dust storm coming. Come. We'll discuss this together. Ooh. She got fierce looks, man. Hannah just crushes it, man, every time we work with her. Crushes it. I won't ask again. <gasps> Chills. That little thing on her head constantly falling. Wild. Ooh, baby. And now we get the Al Haitham smirk. Mmm. I win, baby. That's it. A little rundown. We had two days to film that whole thing. We had to film it in Vegas. When we drove to Vegas for this project, Peter, me, and Hannah, we all stayed in an Airbnb. We had to drive to set. We had to be there by 5 a.m. So we drove at 4 a.m. Takes us about an hour to get there. When we started driving, my car kind of, you know, it tells like the temperature outside, right? 40 degrees as we start driving, we're like, fudge, it's cold. So 40 degrees, right? We're driving. We start getting off the freeway. We're getting closer and closer to the area. It drops, it goes 41, 39, 35, 32. I'm like, ooh, it's getting to freezing. 30 below freezing, 28, 25. And I stop looking and we get to where we need to go. We park, I look, 
it says 15 degrees. 15 degrees. We got to set, we were like, no freaking way. We're seeing ice on the side of the road. But because we were working with, you know, Ismahawk, they took care of us. They made sure we had a location within the desert so we could be inside a enclosed space and they turned on the heater. So we got going from the car to the like into the building though, bro, everything was freezing and Peter was wearing shorts. He was like trying to be like, you know, I got this you know, and work on his breathing, which he did for a while, for a long time. Luckily, my character Alhaitham had a lot of clothing on. We did all my shots first while it was still cold and the sun came out and slowly kind of like burned away the cold, but it was cold. It was really, really cold. When you started moving, it's fine. But poor Peter and Hannah and Can uh, uh, Mari, they were all like, belly was showing, you know. I, <sighs> they did a good job. They stuck it through. It was good times. Um, honestly, we had such a good time doing it. And the project ended up really, really good. You know 100% working with Danny and like Ismahawk. You can trust them 100%. I don't have to worry that that the project's gonna turn out good or not. It always does. Let's read the comments. Yay, Ismahawk. Oh, okay, that's a nice comment. If only all live action adaptations were as good as this one. The inevitable Genshin live action comes along. Oh, good, good, good. Never expected Gen Genshin content. Okay, best live adaptation. Wow. If you guys haven't commented on this uh, comic, uh, on this, um, Video, go go comment some nice things, especially telling uh, people Al Haytham looks good, you know what I'm saying? Top notch, and this one is an uh, entire fair. Oh, another one. I tried Genshin Impact, uh, didn't like it. Watching this video makes me want to try it again. Ooh, maybe I should put my face somewhere else. Let's put my face on this side. The English VAs need to see the stat. Ooh, that's nice. Yoshi fits any key. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Ah, oh. All nice comments. I was not expecting a completely nice comment section. Man, this thing is... Here's the video of the original yep. walkthrough. Okay, I'll have him walks. Notices something as he surveys the land. Looks to his left. And then something comes from the right. Notices it. Turns around for last second. Ooh, narrowly escapes. Dodge. Here's through. This is the talk through, so it's a little slow. And he slashes downwards across the body. And we're going to throw dust coming up. This is called a uh, walk and talk. Basically, I'm walking through and talking the choreography through. What's up, Leah? How you doing? Just showing off the choreography that we did for the live action uh, Genshin that we just did. So you saw that? That's the VFX. Oh, this is all changed because um, we had to change some of the choreography beats, obviously. Story-wise, we had to change it. Uh, basically, when we sent this to Genshin, they're like, Oh, you know what? Let's have it so that they're not working together at all. Well, okay, all right, sure. Talky talky beats, you know how it is. Flap, gummy flaps, lip flaps. See, so she has a claymore in there, but it was too, it's metal. And I don't want a metal one. So we couldn't find a, a fake one to use, unfortunately. Thank you. If you guys don't know who Aaliyah Will is, uh, she's an amazing, amazing cosplayer. Uh, make sure you drop her a follow. I'll have to do that too soon after this. All of this got taken out, unfortunately, because we didn't have time. This is a... Uh, when they when I originally showed this choreography, they were like, it's a little short. And I'm like, trust me, we're not going to even have time for all of these. <laughs> and lo and behold, we did not.
It's kind of short, they say. I'm like, yeah, sure. If you give me four days to film this, I'll got you. I wanted to do this beat so bad because there's like running as we fight. I only put out fire cosplays because Angela or Sayori um, makes them for me. <laughs> I really wanted to do that. This is the ending beat here. And then Candace. <laughs> Clearly, uh, we fuck around a lot. Uh, especially when we're making these, we just mess around. I like to keep things light when we're on set and whatnot, so... And it's just like, whatever. And James was filming that for us, because uh, he came over to work out, and then I was like, alright, we're gonna... We're gonna use you, we're gonna make you work.